Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to discuss a little something about exercise and longevity. I, I get back to the subject. You have scientists on YouTube, you have people that are using studies that they have done claiming that exercise can only make you live to 77 years old if you do cardio and then they use uh, uh, athletes of the past, elite athletes, Olympic athletes to come to this conclusion. Here's the problem with this. They are using these athletes, okay, during their prime years when they were competing. They didn't follow them until the day they died. No one knows they're comparing these athletes to the general population. I don't know how they're doing this because these athletes were athletes in their 20s, 30s, maybe early 40s. How can they say these are the same people when they died at 77 or 80 or 82? What does that have to do with anything? They're comparing apples with oranges. Let me explain. When elite athletes or any other professional athlete, when they retire, most of them, like not over 90% of them, get fat. They get diseases, metabolic diseases. They suffer. They get psychological problems because they they don't work out like they used to. They don't train like they used to. So how can they be as fit as they as they were? Number one. Number two. When they die, when when let me let me let me change this. When, if a person trains for five years and is exceptionally fit, five years, you stop for six months. You stop training for six months, even if you're young. Forget about if you're old. You stop training for six months, it's over. Everything you train for for five years, you lost. I don't care if it's VO2 max, it drops drastically. Your muscle mass, everything. And if you get older, that's even worse. So how are you going to compare 80-year-old general population to 80-year-old athletes when they were in their prime? These athletes are regular people when, when they reach their 60s, 70s, and 80s, most of them. A lot of them are worse than the general population because they suffer from psychological problems because they lost their shape. They are obese. They suffer from diabetes, everything. They're not athletes in the 80s and 70s and 60s. They're no longer athletes. The results of these studies are extremely flawed, 100% flawed. This is why I laugh. I laugh when they say exercise only makes you live five years longer. Yeah, exercise makes you five it makes you live five years longer because they are using the elite athletes when they were 60 years ago. Why don't they compare oranges to oranges? Compare athletes that maintain their training, like I do. Okay, I maintain my training. Compare me to a 60 year old general population. I run circles around them. Even when I'm 70, watch. Okay, this is the, the point I'm making. They have to compare elite athletes where they continue to train for the rest of their lives. Then compare the general population to see what happens. Let's see the results there. Let's see if they only live 4.7 years more. Let's see if they die 77 years old. I won't even mention the names because they're not worth mentioning. These scientists, okay? these are PhDs, and they play games with the studies. And they claim that it's, it, the studies are factual. They're not factual. How are they factual? Anyway, I have a video coming up on something that no one trains. Very rarely anyone trains that, to me, is the cause of all loss of muscle, organ function. Anyway, it's coming soon. Have a great day. Stay healthy.